Hi, I'm Dan Brubeck, and I want to welcome you to a show that we're doing in order to honor my dad, Dave Brubeck. This is his centennial year. Uh, he would have been 100 if he were still alive. And so we're playing music that will honor him. This is all of, of all the music you'll hear tonight is are things that he wrote in, over his career. And he had a very long, broad career. A few of the things that we're doing tonight are, are from uh, sacred pieces that he wrote or from plays that he wrote with my mom, who is a lyricist. Uh, so I want to welcome you to this. It's kind of um, bizarre because we're not playing to an audience. We're playing to an empty theater. Uh, as you will probably see, but this audience is out there and in the world at large, and so we want to welcome you to this event, and thank you for tuning in. So we're going to start this evening with a song called Travelin' Blues, and unfortunately that's something that hardly any of us are able to do right now with COVID and all that, and that's why we're doing this concert the way we're doing it. Um, and this tune is just about the kind of blur that the road becomes after a while, after you've checked into a million hotels, etc. cetera. Um, but it's very self-explanatory, so I'll let the song tell you the story. Travel across the country, I've sung with lots of bands. I've played in those big cities that book those one night stands. I'm lonely and I'm weary. I know the scene so well. The blues have come to get me just to drag me down a hill. But I keep traveling. to a hotel and then forget its name guess I could ask but oh well I know hotels just the same I sing it to the mattress pray God my soul to keep the blues are in the streets cries at home my troubles see I and keep traveling what I'm at. I 
look into the mirror and ask myself, who's that? Yeah, I left behind a woman, a face I can't recall. And if I can't love no man, then no man's been loved at all. I keep trying. and turn and tangle me until my soul is dead and I keep traveling what have I got to lose yeah oh I keep traveling unraveling all my blues This next song is called Kathy's Waltz, and it's a song that was written for my sister, who had a habit of putting on a tutu and running into the studio where my dad would practice and dancing to his music. And my dad thought that was awfully cute, and so eventually he wrote this song for her.
So this next song is called Strange Metal Lark. And uh, my dad started out as a cowboy when he was young, and I think that was a thing for him, whether he was going to be a musician or a cowboy, because he loved both things equally. Um, the song itself is based on the song of the metal lark, the bird song of the metal lark. And uh, he took that melody that he heard and uh, turned it into this beautiful song. Autumn leaves are falling A chill is in the air I hear the strangest calling Of sadness and despair I see two shadows winging Across a moonlit lake Nearby is singing as if his heart would break but a strange matter of thought to be singing oh so sweetly in the park tonight all alone met love are you dreaming of the moons that burn so bright And of love in flight Can't you sleep man along Is there nothing left but whistling in the dark So say Was it love man along Were the songs you sang that summer carefree man Think of all you had A quiet nest off in the clouds Where the soft winds blow So far from all the noisy crowds Where the earthbound go Your wings have brushed up against a star Boundless were the skies You may have flown too high, too far Love is seldom wide Can't you see metal dog? Though you try or call won't turn another law In flight she has gone metal dark You can sing a song until the dawn brings light Sing with all your might Sing away the dark Little meadow, oh Thank you. 
quiet nest up in the clouds where the soft winds blow so far from all the noisy crowds where the earth bound go your wings have brushed against the star boundless were the skies you may have flown too high, too far, low is seldom wise. Can't you see, metal dog? Though you try your call, won't turn another log in flight. She has gone, metal dog. You can sing your song until the dawn brings light. Sing with all your might Sing away the dark Little maid, oh lark Maid, oh lark Maid, oh lark This song is the only song that we're doing tonight that my dad actually wrote the lyrics to. Um, he had the unfortunate experience of being involved in World War II, and he was in Patton's army, and he was on the front about to go into the Battle of the Bulge, and a USO truck pulled up with a bunch of USO Rockette-type girls aboard, and... Um, they had lost their band. So uh, the captain of the, uh, the guy in charge at wherever they were stationed there made an announcement asking if there was anyone that uh, could play piano because they needed a piano player. And my dad said, yeah, I want to play piano. It would be fun to play before uh, going into a major war. So he um, kind of auditioned for this guy, and uh, the guy said, "Okay, yeah, you're you're great. This, the, you know, can you put together a band?" So my dad put together a group, uh, and the group was uh, made up of uh, people of all different races and whatnot, and it turned out to be the first uh, integrated band in the army and it was called the wolf pack which is kind of a historical thing that people that know about the army and music and all of that people are aware that this was actually the first integrated jazz band in in the u.s army <laughs> Was the promise of the endless skies Now you see our love will die In your cry Weep no more song is as mournful as the day is long if it has a million years filled with tears we no more oh 
Let's relive our dreams And forget those schemes Of a world gone mad What we had, let's have What was there for us Let's take care of our us No, our love's not through It is born anew schemes Oh, the world gone mad What we had, let's have What was there for us Let's take care of our us No, our love's not through It is born anew This next song is called Since Love Had Its Way. It's from a play called The Real Ambassadors. And The Real Ambassadors was a play that my parents wrote that starred Louis Armstrong, Carmen McRae, Lambert Hendricks and Ross, Louis Armstrong's band, and my dad's group. It actually only was performed once in Monterey at the Monterey Jazz Festival, and it's one of those performances that everyone still talks about. Um, the um, play was kind of based on Eisenhower's idea of doing State Department tours. And the way that came about was that, believe it or not, Eisenhower thought it was a great idea to send jazz musicians all over the world because he felt it represented democracy and freedom and somehow all the American ideals that uh, he wanted to spread through the world and there was all kinds of ways of doing it but maybe this was the most successful way because people all over the world started loving Louis Armstrong and uh, my dad's group and 
Duke Ellington and all the people that were sent out. So that's what the ambassador reference was about, that all these people were ambassadors to that cause. The irony was they came back to the United States and suddenly uh, all the, the black people that were out on these tours were at the back of the bus and couldn't stay in the same hotels or eat in the same restaurants and all that. And that just, uh, you know, was something that my dad really couldn't stand with social injustice like that. So he wrote this play to try to make people aware of society's injustices and the fact that the U.S. government was using these people and still had social injustice in our own country. Life has more meaning I'm noticing things not seen before I was looking for something new Something left to do Life was such a bore Till I found when you came around That I heard a sound straight from heaven's door Since love's here to stay Why do we linger? That old marriage vow Now seems worthwhile You smile suddenly It's spring There's a wedding ring on your finger
missing things not seen before I was looking for something new something left to do life was such a bore till I found when you came around that I heard a sound straight from heaven's door since love's here to stay why do we linger oh, that old marriage vow now seems worthwhile you smile suddenly it's spring there's a wedding ring on your finger and love's had Love's had its love's had its way. Yeah. Oh, la, 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 This next song, Lord, Lord, is based on calls in the Bible for social justice. It's based on biblical passages and on speeches of Martin Luther King and Hillel, a Jewish sage. The text was put together by my mother, Iola, for a sacred piece they wrote together, my mother and father called The Gates of Justice. Lord, Lord, what will tomorrow bring? Today, I felt an arrow sting in a My eyes begin to Thank you. 
This next tune is called Jazzanians. Uh, my brother Darius started the first jazz program in South Africa. And actually it was the first jazz program in all of Africa. Um, so he wound up getting students of from various backgrounds and ethnicity. Uh, there were Zulus and Klosas, Afrikaners and English people uh, that all, and Indians as well, that were all put together in this group. And the group became known as the Jazzanians. So my dad grew very fond of these musicians and uh, he decided to write this tune, Jazzanians, in honor of the group.
The next song we're about to play is called My One Bad Habit, and Catherine Pinfold's going to sing that for us. This was a song that came out of a dinner that my dad had with Ella Fitzgerald. He was um, playing somewhere, and afterwards uh, Ella and him decided to go out. Ella was playing on the same bill. They decided to go have dinner together, and in the course of conversation, Ellis said that everything was all right in her life, but her one bad habit was falling in love. And so my dad really took that to heart, brought it home to my mom and said, yeah, Ella said that. And it just sounded so great. I thought I'd write a tune called My One Bad Habit. And that's what this song is dedicated to Ella Fitzgerald. smoke or swear my habits are sublime and at the risk of seeming square resist temptation all the time one weakness I profess in all me I confess my one bad habit is falling in love and falling right out again my resolution forget the past don't fall too fast and make it last. The dreams that mattered have all been shattered. They've long since scattered, gone. My 
my grand illusion was all delusion the revolution is on oh, to break that habit of falling in love with someone who doesn't I'm out to conquer, so love beware, no more despair in this love affair, it's now or never, my last endeavor to love. So please treat me gently forever gently your bad habit like my bad habit is falling in love oh, just don't want a little shove and I'll start falling So this next tune is called In Your Own Sweet Way, and it's dedicated to my mother, Iola. Um, my mother was a very talented lyricist. And originally, she was an actress. Um, and she also managed my dad's group quite successfully. In fact, she came up with the idea of getting jazz out of smoky club situations and into college campuses. And some of, some of my dad's first majorly successful records were jazz goes to college. And uh, that created a whole industry in itself. But this, this next tune is uh, dedicated to her. And um, it's probably the most recorded of all my dad's tunes. Miles Davis famously recorded it and Bill Evans and Gil Evans and there's been hundreds of people have recorded in your own sweet way. Thank you. 
turn the whole world upside down Put on a false face, play the clown Well, you've had your say Now it's plain to see I'm nothing but a passing face You don't intend to change your ways To remain with me It's now my turn, yeah You taught me living For shame in your own sweet way I know your terms, I know them well I'm turning flip-flops, I can tell that you like to This uh, tune is called Autumn in Our Town, and um, I produced and played on a record called Trio Brubeck with my brother Chris and my dad and myself. And amazingly, this was nominated for a Grammy, uh, which was thrilling. I, I was hoping we'd get it, but we didn't, but we were in the top three of uh, best jazz songs of uh, that particular year. Um, when I was a kid, we moved from California out to Connecticut. And uh, the house that my parents wound up building in Connecticut was a mid-century kind of house uh, designed by a famous California architect named David Beverly Thorne. And of course, this house stuck out like a sore thumb because uh, everything around it were old colonials and whatnot and then suddenly there's this big uh, mid-century looking house California looking architecture in the middle of all of these cow fields and stuff but uh, my parents took to uh, this little New England town and uh, you know the quaintness of New England and that's what this song is about. It's called Autumn in Our Town. The village green is golden now. Autumn leaves flame and flutter down October days in golden haze Drift through our New England town Another autumn you and I Christened with love each golden scene and our desire was autumn fire as we walk through the village green go in seek where the embers lie Come back, my love, 
come back to me it's golden autumn in our town This next song is called Blue Rondo a la Turk, and it's one of my favorite of my father's tunes. Uh, when he was on the State Department tour in 1958, he went to all kinds of, you know, Middle Eastern countries, Iraq and Iran and Afghanistan and Ceylon and India. And then they found themselves in Turkey, uh, in Istanbul. And uh, my dad was on his way to a session with some Turkish musicians, and he heard a street musician playing uh, this far out beat that, that he analyzed and went, oh, that's in 9 8 time. And uh, so when he got to the studio that he was going to, he, he was telling all these Turkish guys about how he heard the street guy and they were playing this rhythm that was went like and uh so he analyzed that and went oh it's a one two one two one two one two three one two one two one two one two three one two one two one two one two three one two three one two three one two three so he said was saying that to these turkish guys and they were like oh yeah you know that's that's totally common thing here and that's the beauty of what that State Department did is it took him all around the world. He was able to hear musicians from everywhere and what what's common fair in India might be seven four time or in Turkey it's nine eight time. So you uh, learn that four four isn't the only thing in the world, but that's pretty much everything that uh, the uh, Western mind hears, sees and um, so when he when he uh, heard that beat, he he thought about it for a while, and then he wrote this tune, where he, he had studied with a composer named Darius Mio, and so he knew a lot about classical form and all that, and so he wrote. Uh, uh, he he used rondo form, and uh, you know took from the classical tradition to write rondo form, and. Uh, used this 9-8 Turkish beat and then decided that it was a little too far out so he added the blues to the middle of it and, and you have Blue Rondo a la Turk. <laughs>
This next song that we're wanting to do is called Raggy Waltz. It's part rag and part waltz, thus Raggy Waltz. It's a, a real vocal tongue twister, and Catherine Penfold and Adam Thomas are going to attempt to sing it for us, and I'm sure they'll do a great job because they're amazing. This was off the Time Further Out record, which was part of the Time Out series of records. Um, and I wanted to introduce everyone in the band, being that this is our almost our last tune. We have one more tune after this. So we have Miles Black on piano, Adam Thomas on bass and vocals, Catherine Penfold on vocals, myself, Dan Brubeck on drums, and Steve Caldestad on saxophone. It's a rack of boats, a rack of boats, a rack of boats I'm gonna dance with you Now that you heard this very funny beat Let me see if you can feel it in your feet Yeah, you got it, some swing Just forget everything, rack your walls And with me Oh, it's not a wall So be your knees Your house straws could never please It's a rack of boats, a rack of boats, a rack of boats No one the dance will do And when the dance is through, you're gonna say I Never stop romance dancing in this way It makes me love you out on the floor You'll be us for more rack of boats the raggy waltz, a raggy waltz, a raggy waltz And I'm gonna dance with you Now did you heard this very funny beat Let me see if you can feel it in your feet Yeah, you gotta start in the swing Just forget everything Raggy waltz in with me It's not a waltz, so be a knees Your hand straws could never please It's a raggy waltz, a raggy waltz, a raggy waltz And no other dance will do And when the dance is through You're gonna say never stop romance And dancing in this way Makes me love you out on the floor You'll be asking for more raggy waltz
It's a raggy waltz, a raggy waltz, a raggy waltz, and no other dance will do. And when the dance is through, you're gonna sing, never stop romancing, dancing in the sway. Gee, I love you. Out on the floor, you'll be asking for more raggy waltzing with me. Out on the floor, you'll be asking for more raggy waltzing with me. Out on the floor, you'll be asking for more raggy waltzing with me. This next tune that we're about to do is the last tune of the evening and uh, it's called Take Five. And this song was written by Paul Desmond, my dad's sax player for many, many years. I actually have just spent a lot of time in the studio uh, listening to all the outtakes from that session and, and December 4th, uh, we're putting out an album, We're Being My Family, on my family's label or putting out an album called Time Out Takes. So a lot of the tracks couldn't be used because they were too long and you couldn't fit them on an LP in those days. Uh, as it turned out, Time Out was probably the biggest selling record in jazz history. Um, and certainly the Take Five was a single that was the biggest jazz single in history. Uh, the B side of that was Blue Rondo a la Turk. Um, but at any rate, we're going to play this song for you, and it's probably one of the best known of the Dave Brubeck Quartet tunes. Uh, it was interesting putting this all together, uh, the, the project that I did, because you'd hear all these rumors about, oh yeah, take five, they went into the studio and they you know, did it in one take. That's probably true, but it was two weeks after this, the original session where there were about 21 takes and you'd hear different parts of the tune rearranged and uh, they really created this tune in the studio. Paul Desmond brought in all these ideas and my dad kind of rearranged everything and made it cohesive. And uh, that's how this thing was born. Uh, it's survived all kinds of time and everything else and it still sounds so fresh whenever you hear this recording or any recording of it.